Hello there, this is Mr. P. Today's lesson is on sentence or fragment. Is it a sentence or a fragment? I wonder. What is a sentence? It's a set of words put together to create a complete thought, typically containing a subject and a predicate. So then, is a sentence an independent clause? What do you think? Well, it is. Yes, it is. Why? Well, it conveys a complete thought and it has a subject and a predicate, of course. So let's look at the subject plus predicate. So subject, what is it? Oh, we said it's a noun and a pronoun. A predicate is a verb plus something else plus everything else after the verb. So like he, subject, walks to school every day. So that's predicate. Another example, they, subject, are studying English. That's the predicate right there. Good for you. So now, a sentence may convey a statement, also co called declarative, ending with a period, a question, also called interrogative, ending with a question mark, an exclamation, also called exclamatory, ending with an exclamation mark, or a command, also called imperative, ending with a period. For example, I wake up every morning at 6.30 a.m. What is that? Well, that's a declarative. That's right. What time do you wake up on weekdays? According to you, what is it called? A question, okay. But also called interrogative. That's right, interrogative. That's so easy. What is that? Yes, exclamatory. An exclamatory sentence. And... Be quiet. Yes, that's imperative. That is a command, so imperative. Now, what is a fragment then? Well, well, it's a sentence of sentence fragments are groups of words that look like sentences, but they aren't. They are not sentences. They are fragments. So, while he studies, for example, is that a complete thought? Well, uh, I don't think so. No. So, sentence fragments start phrases with a subordinating conjunction, like if, like unless, while, as, after, when. There are many others. Is a fragment a dependent clause? What do you think? Yes, it is. So, it does not convey a complete thought. It starts with a subordinating conjunction. Like when, while, if, like... So, dependent and independent. So, the ones in orange, they are dependent. The ones in pink, they are independent. So, when I go to school, there is the dependent, I wake up early in the morning. Or they listen to music, that's independent, while they study English. Now, why don't you try? Let's see, we can say something with after. And then I, that's complete sentence. Or she, and then because. Be careful, you may pause the video. Well, if you have completed the two sentences, then if you have any questions, you may type them under this video. You can subscribe if you haven't, like the video please, and then share it. Until next time, bye-bye.